I'm sick. I have a virus that's drawing sustenance and power from my body. It makes me think, can I do that? Can I draw power and energy from another human being the way Rogue and Parasite do? That's just in comic books and movies, or is it? I'm Rusty Ward and I want superpowers. And I'm going to get them using science and technology. In the movie The Matrix, artificially intelligent creatures use human beings as living batteries to fuel their civilization. It turns out it's not just machines from the future trying to milk people for power. Scientists and engineers are doing it right now. The field is called human energy harvesting, where people are used as energy sources to generate power. On average, we consume 3,300 watt-hours of energy every day. We use this when we're sleeping, when vigorously exercising, and we lose a considerable amount of it in the form of body heat. This is a lot of energy, and scientists have been coming up with different ways in order to harness it. One form is piezoelectricity, the electric charge that accumulates in certain solid materials like crystals and ceramics when mechanical force is applied to it. The most common example of this are the quartz crystals found in a cigarette lighter. When the hammer of the lighter comes down on the crystals, a spark is created. A number of nightclubs are using piezoelectric devices in their flooring. Dancers' movements create electricity which partially powers their lighting. Scientists are currently working on a piezoelectric film that can go over the top of a keyboard. Then the act of typing would generate electricity that could power other devices. A Swedish company has found another way to use the power that humans generate. They're able to take the excess body heat from the 250,000 daily commuters at the Stockholm Central Station and use it to heat a nearby office complex. The system uses heat exchangers in the station's ventilation system to convert the body heat into hot water. Then, that hot water is pumped to the building across the street. One of the most remarkable devices is Max Donilon's Bionic Energy Harvester. It's a knee brace with an electromagnetic generator. One minute of walking will produce enough current to charge a half-hour cell phone conversation. A similar generator made by Larry Roman at the University of Pennsylvania takes advantage of the up and down motion a backpack makes as you move with it. A series of springs enables the pack to generate 20 watts. That amount of electricity could power a number of portable devices. The downside of this pack is that it has to be carrying 80 pounds in order to generate those 20 watts. This makes it impractical for consumers, but just right for some soldiers. That's why the US Marine Corps is funding the development of these packs. The future of human energy harvesting lies in piezoelectric fabrics. Zhang Lin Wang at the Georgia University of Technology is creating mini generators that can be embedded in clothing. Any movement would cause thousands of tiny generators to produce electricity. This tech is still getting the kinks worked out, but it's believed that this clothing could be available to us in as little as five years. Hopefully by then I'll be feeling better and able to use this technology to become unstuck. <coughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching and subscribe for future episodes. Check out some of the previous episodes. And as always, let me know what superpower <coughs> you want.